Hello, peeps. This is a hillbilly halfwit, and thank you very much for watching and subscribing to my channel. And I encourage you all to do so and share this stuff out there. This video I'm going to do today is going through a new Kermit group in Wales, basically a think tank that is going to. Well, when I read through it, I was in disbelief. And this is probably one of the most important videos I've ever done since I've started doing this. So please listen to all this and you will be amazed what your future in Wales is going to be. Um, this is starting to come in. This is definitely Sustrans and active, tra active Travel. Civil Service have got control of Wales. Future for Half Farming looks very bleak indeed and the future for individual personal decisions to go anywhere is also. So let's get going through this and please share this out there because it people need to see how nutty these people are. The content in this video is intended for comedic purposes only. The views expressed in this video are not to be taken as factual information or representation of my personal beliefs. I am critically reviewing the info and videos I show as examples. Not much fun in this one, I can tell you. Before we go any further, I'd just like to say, I'm a very positive person. I put this stuff up there for everybody to see. But in my normal life, I'm a glass half full person. And that's why I, I just go on with my life as if these people don't exist. But people need to, to understand what is going on behind the scenes of this country. And thankfully, people like yourselves that watch this channel and share this stuff out there, the information is getting out there. So look at your future in Wales under our Welsh government. Remember, they're cutting schools, they're cutting hospitals, money, they're cutting everything for farming. Look where this money's going. Right, this was an article I saw yesterday, and apparently we got a new Clermit group, basically another think tank, and uh, scary stuff. I'll read this all out. We won't talk too much about it. We'll talk about it in further episodes in detail. But this, I'll just read this all out to you. so you, And you can go through it yourself to see how mad this all is. The six Wales Wales must urgently transform set out in eye-opening vision of the future. Experts propose fewer cars and sheep along with Crown Estate devolution to ring-fence renewable energy income for Wales. Climate experts believe Wales must spend, speed up the switch to net zero or else brace for much bigger shocks down the line. A series of reports published on Monday, September the 16th, outline ways in which the transition can be accelerated. Among the ideas proposed are some that may prove contentious. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Such as car-free town centres, road user charging and higher parking charges to get people out of their cars. Another could see the disappearance of Welsh icon as farmers are encouraged to stop sheep production and start growing crops instead. How can you grow a crop on the top of a hill? Among the most eye-catching ideas is, dev is devolution of the Crown Estate in Wales while establishing a Wales Welsh Wealth Fund in which could be seen as a major step towards independence. This would... This would see income from renewable energy projects reinvested to benefit Wales. The experts also propose free bus travel for young people. Notice for young people, not for old people. Uh, this is... What are, you, what are these people on? The experts also pr propose free bus travel for young people and the introduction of a national green skilling wage to encourage people to retrain from, for net zero industries. Low interest green loans for homeowners are also advocated, along with a major push to install more heat pumps in private homes. Six reports have been compiled by the Wales Wet Nero 20 Wales Net Zero 2035 Challenge Group. So that is that new group. It's a new think tank. Wales Net Zero 2035 Challenge Group. A mix of volunteers from academia, business groups, and the private sector. They include four Wales-based professors and range from Rex and Farmer, Will Evans, to Paul Allen from the Centre to Alternative Technology. Well, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, Paul Allen and Will Evans, that's all I can say. 
They concluded that achieving net zero by 2035 will require a significant step change in ambition from the Welsh Government, along with a greater mandate for change for the people of Wales. If implemented, they believe huge benefits are possible, including improved public health, greater energy security and reduced pressure on the NHS. However, urgent and radical action is needed now and the transition must be carefully planned, said the group, which was chaired by former Environmental Minister Jane Davidson. Otherwise, Wales risks suffering more disruptions in the future if change is imposed too quickly. 20 mile an hour is nothing of what's coming here. Stan Townsend, the group secretary, said, As the great-grandson of a coal miner from South Wales Valleys, I don't want to see the history of just transitions repeat itself. A renewed approach to climate change, climate change and sustainable development is needed to avoid this. One considered... One consideration omitted from the study was the tidal energy. And an independent commission has been set up to explore tidal energy in the Severn Estuary and Mento Morris, Morales Tidal Project of Anglesey is making good progress. But the challenge group has its doubts. Despite the tidal stream demonstration site at Anis and Morn making good headway to install technology in Wales, the scale likely to achievable by 2035 is estimated to be less than 10 Less, less than 100 megawatts and risks being curtailed as a demonstration site, said the group. Therefore, we have not considered this to be a significant contributor. Our view is that it's unlikely for new tidal projects to be developed within a time frame to influence reaching net zero by 2035. You're absolutely crazy, people. You're absolutely... Oh, God, I'm stopping myself swearing, yeah? The challenge group published six reports plus a summary. These contain scores of suggestions, a selection of which are outlined below. Now the reports are completed, the group has wound up. So it's been wound up now. On the quiet, this lot has been going. So listen to these suggestions. This is true st stuff, people. This is a th civil service think tank. What could education, jobs and work look like across Wales by 2035? Introduce a national green skilling wage for full-time study, work experience and apprenticeships. Apprenticeships. Establish climate, ac climate action groups in every local authority in Wales by 2030 to, pro to provide climate education across all subjects and levels. Mandate climate and nature literacy modules for all further and higher education students. Work with exam boards to integrate climate awareness into exams by 2029. Encourage businesses to adopt climate change training by 2028. Create a carbon and nature literate workforce, workforce by establishing a continuing professional development pathways for all professionals by 2028. They're creating themselves jobs. That's what it is. Champagne socialists creating themselves jobs and pen pushers. How, Wales, how could Wales feed itself by 2035? Develop a natural food strategy by 2027 to su support sustainable farming. Is that word again? Sustainable, that's always gobbledygook, and it means it's going to hurt farming. Secure more money for the UK government and instruct the Wales Development Bank to develop new financial products. Secure a just transition for farmers and growers with long-term financial support and extended tenancy agreements. Prioritize locally sustainable produced food through public procurement to ve develop local markets and distribution chains. Implement a land and marine use framework for national food strategy. Reduce the dominance of livestock production and incentivize grow growing a wider range of sustainable crops to replace imports. Work with supermarkets to implement a Welsh produce aisle by 26. Extend eligibility for universal free school meals to secondary schools by 2026. Incentivize the production and use of sustainably grown shellfish and seaweed from 2025 to 2035. Develop a new production and markets for vegetable proteins, precise precision fermentation and appropriate lab-based proteins. From 25 to 35, request UK government induce a sugar and salt reformation tax by 26. 
How could Wales meet its energy needs by 2035? Increase planning capacity and streamline the consenting process to speed up the deployment of renewable energy. Urge the national grid in the UK government to accelerate energy distribution initiatives. Choreograph industrial decarbonisation through regional economic bodies. Commission a feasibility study of potential sites for long duration energy storage in Wales by 2030. Seek devolution of the Crown Estate in Wales and establish a Wales Wealth Fund to reinvest renewable energy proceeds within Wales. Encouraging a baseline for community funds to ensure communities benefit from renewable energy projects. This should be at least 5,000 per megawatt in installed capacity for all wind projects above 5 megawatts. Encourage all new commercial renewable projects above 5 megawatts to offer a minimum of 10% community and local ownership. How could Wales heat and build homes for the workplace by 2035? Prioritise the installation of heat pumps in private homes, including whole home assessments for heat pump readiness. Upgrade building fabric when necessary to avoid increased bills. Fund installation and poor fuel, fuel poor homes, installing heat pumps wherever possible. Regulations in the private rented centre, setting deadlines for landlords to upgrade fabric and replace fossil fuel systems. Launch a low-interest in green loan for homeowners, which attract private finance, develops and supply chains and creates new jobs. Design local delivery partnerships for heat switching to help people choose the best low-carbon heat, carbon heat option for their home, street or neighbourhood. Support tradespeople to join the heat and retrofit workforce in the short term and work with colleges to develop training for young people. How could transport be transformed in Wales by 2035? This is one, look, travel less. Establish an ambitious target to reduce car kilometres travelled in Wales by 2027. Boost digital connectivity to all communities, use broadband to connect remotely to people and services. Support local shops and services to make it easier for people to work, shop and play without having to drive. Help employees reduce trips, especially single occupancy vehicle trips for commuting to avoid traveling at peak times. Upscale repair, refill and reuse schemes and curb advertising to minimize the movement of goods. Travel differently. Invest in fairer fares for public transport and free bus travel for all under 22s and other disadvantaged groups. Activate Activate active travel through major investment in local roads, improvements including school streets and car-free city centres, making it fun, safer and more convenient to walk or cycle instead of driving. Decarb the, the commute by partnering with big employers like councils and the NHS to in incentivise walking, cycling and public transport for work journeys. Active travel, that's sustrans. Travel better. Establish e-hubs in car-dependent rural. Establish e-hubs in car-dependent rural and urban communities to offer affordable and convenient access to electric vehicles without ownership. Incentivize rail freight over road haulage and deliver goods to consolidate centres that use small electric vans and cargo bikes for last-mile deliveries. Position Wales as a sustainable aviation fuel leader by establishing a centre of excellence at Cardiff Airport and a production plant at Port Talbot. New funding for local authorities to reallocate road space to bus priority schemes. Wider pavements, cycle lanes and on-street cycle parking from 25 to 28. That's Sustrans. Prioritise schemes that benefit pedestrians, including roadside zebras and shorter waiting times at pedestrian crossings. Implement financial measures such as higher residential and other parking charges to make driving less attractive, Sustrans. Urge the UK government to develop a car scrappage scheme by 27. Explore introducing a road user charging scheme in key cities and large towns across Wales by 2030. Achieve 100% zero emissions community bus fleet by 2035. Invest in community provider charging infrastructure. Keep, stay with me if you're still here, it's not long to go now. Enabling the transition to net zero. The first minister to take responsibility for cross-cabinet net zero delivery by 2025 to signal buy-in at the highest level. Establish a Wales transition forum by 26. 
increase planning capacity and streamlining the consenting process to speed up the deployment of renewable energy, forces on us by other means, choreograph industrial decarbonization through regional economic bodies, civil service, establish a Welsh fund, wealth fund to reinvest renewable energy proceeds in Wales, basically to, as a fund to give the profits to people who invested in it, Rest restoration of 90,000 90, hectares of Welsh peatlands by 2035. There's nothing wrong with them now. Introduce a long-term and increased agricultural support budgets from 26 to 35. Now, I've had to just read that all through. As you know, I couldn't stop and talk much about it as I wouldn't get through the video. Please share this out there. We are about to have a seismic change in Wales. People have no idea what's coming. It's all there in black and white. That is coming. Now, unless you decide to vote, the Senate is going to push this through. If you don't decide to vote them out, you've got to get your act together, people. That's our future is looking bleak. There's some good ideas in there, maybe 10% of good ideas, but the rest of it is basically taking away human rights of people to go where they want and do what they want and grow what they want. That's what it's, it's taking away individual rights. So Gaza is going to sign off now because he's absolutely mad as a hatter over this. So even though I'm a glass half full person, this sort of thing drives me mad. It's communism through the back door. Please subscribe and share. All the best, Gaz.